Yo, what's fucking good, boys? You know what I'm saying? It's been a, it's been a little bit, not too too long, but you know what I'm saying we are back with a reaction. Every Yeet album ranked. You know what I'm saying? I I do consider myself. <clears throat> listen, I wasn't the first ever listener of Twizzy Noah Oliver Smith. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't the first nigga to ever hop on the wave, but definitely wasn't the last. But through my time, I'd say I'm well qualified to speak on the topic of sir noah oliver because i found myself well acclimated with him over the uh how long has it been since i've been listening to him at least a year i'd say i've gotten a solid solid grip pause <laughs> i've gotten a solid grasp of mr noah oliver smith's musical taste so i think i'll be a fair rating but enough of that chit chat let me get to this dib dab <laughs> I'm fucking torched, but I hope y'all niggas are having a fucking absolutely banger of a fucking day. You know what I'm saying? My day's been pretty slight, if I'm gonna be, be fucking honest. Quavo Huncho right now. Keep it a buck fifty. Shit was pretty cake, but you know, niggas got work later, so we gotta get right before that. But hey man. Cheers. My name is Cleveland Brown, and I am proud to be right back in my hometown with my new family. Yeet. This man came in one day and said, I'm gonna make a new sound, fuck y'all. And he did. His music has a very unique and difficult to replicate sound. Dare I say more difficult to replicate than Cardi's sound? No, no. We're not gonna go that far. We're not gonna talk about my nigga Young Jordan Carter like that. No, no, I'm sorry. What did you say, nigga? Listen, Thanks. the point is that I like this man's music. Off a bean. And since I loved making my peer ranking video, I thought to myself that it would be a good idea to rank Yeats too. The problem with Yeats music is that his sound is kind of difficult to rank. <sighs> Why? Let's be honest, Yeet is not one of the most fleshed out artists. When he puts out an album, there will definitely be some skips on it. But man, when he makes a good track, he makes a good track. So I will be ranking all of his albums that are on Spotify and this one EP, Different Creatures, because it has seven songs and I think that's enough. To I like Different Creatures, bro. Goat emoji is just on my playlist. To be in this ranking. Also, one more thing. Know about I'm the not Yeet. the most diehard Yeet fan. It was hard ranking his music. In the majority of the albums, I breeze through the songs without giving a lot of explanations because I just don't have much to say. And I'm sorry. Okay, but listen. Let me get listen. I, I'm, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a, a list of my musical my musical taste right now, just to give y'all niggas some insight of who who is who is really tapped. You know what I'm saying? Who is really going in my ear on a daily basis? So that way I can give a fair ranking. Cause I listen to that fucking geek shit all the time, bro. You know what I'm saying? The number one artist in my ear at this di this direct moment in time. I mean, it's probably a three way tie between Noah Oliver Smith, Destroy Lonely, Top Floor Fucking Boss Nigga, Ken Carson, Mr. X Man himself. Those are my top three right now that I just they got my ear all the time. Young boy, he can't come out the ear. You know what I'm saying? And fuck what y'all talking about. I still like Gunner. Sorry about that. I don't Suck know Yeet's sound as much as Pierre's sound, so I'll probably be way less confident with my ranking. But y'all need to remember that this is just my opinion. Thanks for understanding, and with all that said... And I'm, I'm gonna let you know if it's valid or not, you feel Let's me? start. <laughs> Wake Up Call is his worst album. Yeah, to be honest, it's not as bad as I expected. Listening to this album made me realize two things. One, that Yeet hasn't perfected his style at all, and he's still building upon it. And two, this album compared to his sound now is so boring. I I will I have to agree. To like any tracks, and honestly, I think this is the album that I have the least to say. But yeah, uh, admit it and stay up with my. Actually, no cap. I like admit it. Oh, do you actually admit it? 
yeah, two uh, favorite songs uh, on this thing, and that's it. I'm sorry, I don't have more to say, but you didn't really give me anything good to work with here. Yes, yeah, it was alright, to be fair. It was back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Was... This EP is low-key fire. I'm no, not gonna no lie, cap. I thought no early Yeet projects would be hot dookie shit, but man, this shit goes hard, not gonna lie. It's not the classic Yeet sound, it's sort of in the middle of Wake Up Call and the sound he brought to a live. Yeah, the beats on this record are like great, but for 2019, they were considered fire. Goat Emoji is one of Yeet's best tracks, and I'm not ashamed to say that. This man did Goat yeah, Adam, was like he was going like, bae, bae. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Mixed right, emotions yeah, got thanks. a great flow. Listen to Goat Emoji and that shit He kind of goes off on this track. My Can't fucking think light great too. Kind of this is the track that resembles Yeet's sound today the most. And that's it with this album. I would recommend you guys listen to it because I honestly kind of loved it. Okay, next one. Take me if I'm wrong, but I think the time that 4L released ah! was around when Yeet's music started to blow up a little. And uh -oh. for good reason. No, 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 He's not about to put 4L this low. This album has 20 songs, and I'm gonna be honest here. Most of them are skips. <laughs> no, he didn't. Uh, he didn't talk about 4L. No, he didn't. Uh, Sorry About That is one of his best tracks here. No, this is a top five Yeet song to ever graze the earlobe. Don't care. You listen to it, you can kind of tell that now. Nigga. This nigga about to make me mad. Hold up. Because I'm about to pull up the fucking song list. Hold up. Yeah, bro. Look at this shit. All right. First of all. First of all. Teslas and Rovers. Banger. Mountain Climbers. Banger. Sideways. Banger. Off the lot. Banger. Talk to God. Banger. Swerve it. Banger. Money twerk. Banger. Forelli. Banger. Like, come on. Chanel. Banger. Teslas and... I already said that. Going back to Ella? Oh, my... Bro. Bedside, like, nigga, all I see, come on, bro, big stones, okay, like, the only skips I would possibly maybe give you, nigga, if you, like, maybe give you, if you don't even like eat, like, okay, cool, and this one, not even, not even live high, um, yeah, that's probably the only two, maybe what the fuck, what the fuck, uh, huh, what the fuck, uh, nah, this nigga's off it. Perk, bro. Now he has his own sound. Honestly, I think he sounds like a better Uzi. For real, he sounds like- <laughs> Oh my god, oh, bro, it's getting crazy. This but nigga is making me mad sound. now. Honestly, I think he sounds like a better Uzi. Listen, I know I didn't talk about Uzi. This nigga Uzi, you know what I'm saying? We have the, the, the fucking rap faces of Mount Rushmore, my nigga. Bro. Uzi. Cardi. Fucking Future and Thug, bro. Some shit like that, bro. Like, there, no. Hell no. For real, he sounds like Beanie X sampled the Super Mario level at the start, and I love it. Going yeah, back to Ella is a bell song, and sounds amazing. Yeah, WTF banger. is great. The beat yeah. is so fucking good, and I love some of the lyrics on this. Off the Lot is one of the first Yeet tracks I listened to, and I was obsessed with it for a week straight. Oh, and Money Truck is a bell song, it too, also. I don't like it, but I guess y'all kind of like it based on the street, <laughs> so I had to mention it. Yeah, this album was like, mostly skips him, for me. I listened to each track, and only the ones mentioned made me feel something. This is still a good album, though, if you're a diehard Yeet fan, I assume. Oh my god. Alive, I believe, is the first Yeet album with the Yeet sound, and I like it. Always Alive is a great introduction. It like, sounds bro, so fucking wavy. I like, listen, I love Alive, but it's not better than 4L, bro. I think 4 is definitely a high- 4L is like- I don't know. I don't know the album. I'll wait Back to bed is also great. I'll wait to Yeet goes off for another three minutes straight. Ecstasy instrumental makes me want to beat someone up. Lifted is good too, but it sounds pretty bland after a while. War One is the best track on this album, and I fucking love it. Yeet doesn't stop, and the flow is perfect, <laughs> and the production too. Oh, and sleep talking is nice too. I don't know what to say about early Yeet tracks, man. They all kind of sound the same. Even Yeet tracks now are somewhat similar to one another. This album is on the line between his old and new sound, and definitely one of his most important albums. It definitely is an important album, but it's not better than that. Up To Me is great. I think this is one of his most streamed albums, and for good reason. Almost every track here is great. Come On is top 20 E tracks. Come on. Got Rich Come has on. a great beat Come by Filthy. Alright. Man, Filthy and Beanie yeah, X always deliver. Get Bussy is obviously Filthy fire. is tough. It also it's, got it's, that funny line bell, which I like. <laughs> Rockstar sounds very similar to past E tracks, but that doesn't stop it from sounding heavenly. Trendy Way is fire. Great verses by Yeet and great feature by September's Rich. Swerved It is top 10 Yeet tracks. Are you with a wall? You could tell was on repeat for a month straight for me. Turban is top 5 Yeet tracks and it's the definition of a rage track. Money So Big is solid but very overplayed and Lying For Fun got a great ass beat switch. This track feels like a prequel to the sound Yeet brought to life. Overall, one of my favorite Yeet albums. Very solid overall tracks and not too many skips. I don't know if I'm really arguing. I'm not, I don't know if I'm really rapping. I put these together because I couldn't decide which was better. These two are probably my favorite Yeet albums. 
but that doesn't make them the best. Probably is. Popping is a great opener. Never Again Straight Up is a must bit song. Double got a great ass flow and this was on repeat for a week. On the line is top 10 yeet. Yeah, how he does it. I'm sorry. Just Better is straight up an addicting song. Jump is something a main character would play before he would fight someone. Can't Die is another prequel to the sound yeah, Geek I'm not, I'm not, I'm not arguing I honestly so love far. this chilly, trippy, repetitious rap. Geek High is insane, but yes. Ken Carson sounds a little weird. I don't know if it's ah! recording or if I'm retarded, but I don't know. I still like Ken's verses though. Take still your retarded, is a great don't track. talk about Reminds Ken. me of popping for some reason. Big Tonka was insane, but then I overplayed it and I kind of hate it now. Uzi goes off though and clears Yeet's verses. Can't Relax is mosh beat track number two. No comment is generic but i don't know why i love it 3g is great the instrumental is so fucking unique and even if you hate the oh, track dude. you gotta give props to the producer for this heat more highlights include turban dub of course and love money that was his two I don't know if I, I... I can't think of that album name. This sure. album is not my favorite Yeet album. But in my opinion, it's the most well-rounded Yeet album. No! And every track is good. There are no skips on this album and it's consistently good. Flawless is the best Yeet and Uzi have sounded so far. And I honestly love that Yeet and Uzi oh, linked up That is a great, tracks. that is a great We song. need a whole Uzi and Yeet tape. These dudes have better chemistry than Uzi had with Cardi. Oops. Wait, oh! is that a hot... My fucking they god! Look good! Bro. Because it's facts. Eat shit, it's my opinion is right. Bro. Up off X is insane. This dude is retarded. Like bro, he's pissing that chill sound I love. Out he's the way is the bro. best heat track. Mad, shit got me feeling like this. Listen, listen! <laughs> that shit does go. Pini X beats are insane, bro. Like, how does one man make something like this? Talk, although being very overplayed, is top 5 yeet, and the introduction of the track always gets me hyped. Oh, Another Pini X good. banger. Every other track is good, but these are the Jeez, highlights. Shit. I put this album at number 1 because it has no skips. Even the songs I didn't mention are at the least good, and it's the best rounded album in my opinion. Yeah. So, that's it. I apologize for not having much to say all about right. some- Listen here. I'm gonna be honest. I, I can't- I gotta look at all the- I need to go back to this shit. I'm just gonna do it from here. I know him. All right. So this nigga said that. He said that. Hold on. I need to go back. He said 4L was at. I need to go back just to make sure I'm right. You know what I'm saying? He said 4L was. 4L was like six. Hell no, gang. Hell no. All right. Let me tell. Let me tell you what it is. 4L. That shit is at two. Cap three. Three. It's his third best album. It was his second best until he dropped Life. Life is his second best album. I love Life. You know what I'm saying? It is a great album. No skips. But fucking um, Two Alive with the one with Rax Got Me and Young Thug Song uh, Outside. Duh, bro, no skips. Don't care. The whole album's a fucking banger. I was blasting that shit all baseball season. Just absolutely bumping the fuck out of Yeet last year. That shit didn't miss. Then it goes 4L. Then I'm gonna give it to... uh. Fuck, what's the other one? What is it? Uh, It's this one right here. The one with Come On and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give it to this one. Whatever the fuck. I can't remember which one it is. That, that's that's a good four. Up to me. Yeah, that's a good four. And then... Five. I, I'm gonna agree with the rest of his list, but he had me chopped his shit, pretty much, when he said... Fucking four Ellie at six, bro. And then he had... Yeah, nah. Uh, but, uh, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much the end of the video. Um, I love y'all boys. I'm saying I've been charging the Benjamin. Oh, let me turn this light on. Fucker. I've been charging the Benjamin this whole time, so. Like I said, it's got a little sneaky something up his sleeve. But before I did this, you know what I'm saying? Blinker and shit gonna kill me. Fresh off the charger, double barrel. I love y'all boys. You know what I'm saying? We hit a hundred. Gang shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's on, I don't know what's next. A band. But let me know if y'all fuck with this type of video, you know. I don't know. It was kind of it is iffy. We'll see. But I love y'all boys. Gang shit. 420 crew to the fucking moon trap line team on fucking top.